Um, and, you know, even one of the other things that we're suffering or benefiting from, however you choose to look at it, these days is lots of famous people now have podcasts, oh, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, some of it's good. Some of them are good. Mm. Some of them are like, oh, really? Really? I just got to hear you talk like this now? No, thanks. Um, you know, and uh, in the UK, pretty much if you're a working comedian these days in the UK, you have a podcast, right? Uh -huh. um, and some of them are great. Uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, Rod Gelbert and his wife's podcast. I think it is one of the cutest things on earth. Um, and, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that Rod Gilbert's uh, coming back from his cancer diagnosis again. It was wow. quite, quite significant, but he seems to be doing better. Um, you know, famous people podcasts for me always feel they teeter on disingenuous. They teeter on overexposure. I am all places all the time, and I've got something to say. Well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I just I don't need to just hear you waffle. Um, but at, at at the same time, with the sheer amount of podcasts available, you can hear somebody when they're truly being genuine, and you can easily go out and find examples of other podcasts trying to do that, but it just doesn't feel that way. I go for the genuine. I'm a junkie of the genuine. When you are talking about something that you're truly passionate about, when you're emotional about something, when you're willing to, to strip everything away and be, be kind of intellectually or emotionally naked with somebody and let the rest of the world in on it, those are the things that I find truly rewarding as a person, as a consumer of media. And that's what I think is the core tenant of a successful podcaster or a successful producer. If you put something out there that's genuine, more likely than not, somebody's it's going to resonate with somebody. Now, if, if it doesn't resonate with enough somebody's, that's a different issue. But really the key for me is coming on and being real and doing something that you are truly motivated to do, that you really enjoy. That's the reason why I keep doing one of my podcasts, simply because I enjoy doing it. And if other people want to come along, that's fine. And that's what I encourage people to go search out and find. Voices who resonate with you. Voices who make you feel good hearing. Um, and, and, and again, support them. Support them either by like, click, subscribe, which is a much more powerful tool than many people realize. Our lives as producers are, are you know, are measured by those thumbs, right? And click-through rates. And if all we're asking you to do, even if you're not willing to pay us any money, if you could just like and maybe suggest this to somebody else, that's got a value to us. And it's a free thing for you to do in order to support us. But you got to be passionate about this weird thing that we do, or else you're just uh, uh, another source of uh, another source of noise in the world.